So let's write our reflexive ACLs on R1. Now in Notepad, I've listed out exactly what we're going to do. What we're going to do first is we're going to create our outbound uh, named ACL. It needs to be an extended ACL. So you can see the commands here. IP, access, dash list, and extended ACL. And then the name of the ACL, which will be outbound underscore ACL. Then we're going to permit ICMP for ping from any source to any destination. Um, we're also going, going to then permit TCP, any source, any destination. And notice we haven't specified a specific protocol, so we're not doing equal to 80. We're not going to do that. We're going to open up every TCP um, outbound service or port, right? But then we're going to use the reflect keyword to say, okay, we're allowing, we're permitting TCP from any source to any destination, but we're going to create a reflexive ACL named TCP dash traffic so that on the return it'll be evaluated against this reflexive ACL so that only um, TCP traffic that's been initiated from inside the network will be allowed back through and that's what this reflect keyword uh, does in this ACL statement right here so we use the reflect word then the name of our reflexive ACL which we're gonna call TCP dash traffic then we, we hit permit UDP. We're going to permit the UDP protocol, any source, any destination, equal to 53, which is going to be for DNS. And then we'll reflect that. We'll call it DNS-traffic. And we're also going to put a timeout on it of 10 seconds. The default, I believe, is um, 300 seconds. And we're going to do a shorter timeout. So that's going to even shorten the window that the reflexive ACL has, the, the window of opening um, on the return traffic, right? So if DNS is not resolved within 10 seconds, that reflexive ACL on the return will be closed. Now that we have that set up, or now that we, we're going to set that up, we also need to have an inbound named ACL. It also has to be an extended ACL. We're going to call it inbound underscore ACL. And you can see here, permit, ICMP, pings, any, any, any source, any destination. Then to make this work, we use the evaluate um, statement, right? So evaluate, and then we tell it the reflexive ACL that we want to evaluate on. And this was on the outbound, right? So this is going to check the traffic to see if it was uh, if it was initiated from inside the network, and if it was, then it'll let it through for a limited time. Once we have our two ACLs written, we have to then apply them to interfaces or an interface on the router. Um, one outbound, one inbound, and it'll be pretty easy. We'll go to interface serial 000, and we'll put IP access dash group, and for the outbound ACL going out, and the inbound ACL going in. So that's all we have to do. So let's go do it on R1, and we'll do that right here. Okay, so here we go. Hit enter a couple times. All right, we're in R1, and we'll do a conf t. It gets us to global config mode, IP, tab, access list, extended, and this is going to be the outbound underscore ACL first. All right, so we do that, and now we're in named access list mode, and now we put in our statements, permit ICMP any, any, so any source, any destination, enter, then permit TCP, any source, any destination. We're not going to specify a specific TCP port, but we're going to allow all through as long as they've been initiated from inside the network. And we'll reflect, and we'll call this TCP-traffic. That'll be our reflexive ACL name. It's going to open up a temporary access control entry, or ACE. All right, and then we'll do that. Then we will say permit UDP any any equal to port 53, which is DNS. We'll call that DNS dash traffic. And then we're going to set a timeout. It's going to go off screen here. So let's see here. Time out space 10. And then we'll hit enter. OK. And it says that, ah, I forgot the reflect keyword after the 53. Notice it said invalid input. It tells me exactly where I have my problem. So I'll just do an up arrow 
and I'll arrow over. Got to get that reflect statement in there to make that work. All right, then hit enter. All right, and we're good. So we have our first ACL written. I'm going to just do a control C to get out of that mode, and then I'll go back into that mode by typing conf T, configure terminal. And now we need to do our second access list for our inbound. So IP access list. It's going to be an extended. We're going to call it inbound underscore ACL. So this will be our inbound ACL. And we will permit coming back in ICMP any space any. All right, that looks good. And then we have to just evaluate the outbound reflexive ACLs that we created. So we say evaluate TCP dash traffic and evaluate DNS dash traffic. All right. Okay, that looks good. So set that up. We have our two access lists. And now what we're going to do is we'll do control C and then a conf T, configure terminal, to get back to global config mode. And now we need to apply them. So we'll go to our interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Whoops. All right. Now we're in interface configuration mode and time to apply them. So IP access dash group. And we'll say outbound underscore ACL out. And then I'll do an up arrow and I'll set the inbound. So in and change this to inbound. All right. Boom. Okay, so we've set that up and we'll do a control C and a show run. All right. And you can see that now we have the inbound ACL inbound and the outbound ACL outbound. And those have been set up on the serial 000 interface, which is the correct interface. It's this interface right here. So outbound and then inbound. Okay. And let's see. We've just been given a hint, but I'm not going to say anything till you can till I demonstrate it. But let's see, now on our access list, we'll hit more, we perm permitted outbound ICMP to any source to any destination, and we permitted ICMP any source any de destination on the inbound. So we should still be able to ping from PCA to PCC. And we'll give it a test. So we'll run the test, run an up arrow here, ping 192.168.3.100, and we'll hit enter, and you can see that the host is unreachable, right? And I've done this before, so <laughs> I've already troubleshot this, but it was pretty infuriating the first time. Well, how is that? How come we can no longer ping? Well, we know that the only thing that we've done is add an ACL to our router access list, two ACLs, and it has closed off the ability to use ICMP across the network, right? So our access list has shut down ping, but what needs troubleshooting is when we look at our ACL, it says that we've permitted both ICMP inbound and outbound. So why is that? So this is a good troubleshooting scenario. Um, and uh, well, and the reason is, some of you may already have figured it out. The problem is, is that we've lost the route to the three network. We no longer have a route to the three network, and I'll explain why. Well, we'll do a show IP route, which will look at our routing table. And in our routing table, before we had four networks. We had learned two networks from EIGRP, and now we just have our two connected networks in our routing table. So we've lost our EIGRP routes, and so what's happened is our firewall has blocked the EIGRP routing protocol from communicating from router to router, or at least to this router. So R1 can no longer basically send EIGRP packets to R2. 
and it probably can't receive them either because on every access list that you apply on your interface at the end of the access list is an implicit deny all so if you haven't permitted it then that traffic's not going to be allowed through so the question is how do we allow EIGRP through our firewall well it's actually pretty easy so to allow EIGRP through our firewall what we have to do is go to global config mode and we have to go back into our access list and add the statements so we'll say IP access dash list extended outbound underscore ACL get us back into our our named access list and if we just put another permit statement here it'll go and it'll append to the end of our access list and that should be good enough so what we're gonna do is EIGRP actually operates at the IP level of the OSI model so it's at it's an IP protocol that it uses um, on port 88 but you can't access that from um, the access list so what you're gonna have to do is do a permit space put a question mark and you can see EIGRP is a choice right after the permit statement so we can just say permit EIGRP any 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 source to any destination and we'll hit enter and that allows the outbound EIGRP now what we'll do is we'll do a conf t and we'll do IP access list extended and then we'll do the inbound ACL and we'll add the same statement the same statement permit EIGRP any source any destination alright so now if we do a show run oh and look what just happened this is interesting you can see right from the output from the messaging right from the router that the dual algorithm has now um, established a neighbor relationship and adjacency right with the other router so EIGRP is now able to function again so that works so you can see that now if we do a show IP route we can now see our two EIGRP learned networks and now our client should be able to ping across the network. And it can. So we've solved that huge problem. Now the other problem is to see, or not a problem, but to see if we can reach our web server. We were able to do it before. Let's see if we can still do it so we'll refresh this window and you can see that we still have access to the web server and that's good let's do a fresh window just in case and we'll say 10.2.2.1 and there's the connect so we've connected and we'll put in the password class and being able to reach the web server is proof that our reflexive ACL is working so now we have proof that both our ICMP which should have worked both directions regardless is now working and we have um, TCP outbound since it was initiated from inside the network we are able to receive the web page so we know that's working now I'm not really I don't have any DNS servers set up on this NetLab so we're not going to test DNS but I will point out that we had to add a permit EIGRP any any to get it working and I put that on both the outbound and on the inbound so there's an example of reflexive ACL and I hope that was instructive and helped you out.